So what I have for you guys today is the Raw MG from Modern Warfare 2. I got convinced to cover this thing when they released the conversion kit for the weapon. However, we're not going to be covering the conversion kit today simply because I don't think it is as good as the base raw mg what i have for you guys here is more or less limiting the recoil because that's where you're going to find the most success with this weapon it has the potential to three shot kill with that insane 54 headshot damage and we're going to talk a lot about the conversion kit in the gameplay so make sure you guys stay tuned for that let's get into these attachments so my first attachment here is the jack glassless optic that's going to control fire aiming stability while just being a normal reflex sight i personally don't think the iron sights are too bad on this weapon but at the end of the day it is a preference you guys can run the jack glassless a different optic or even the iron sights here for a rear grip you're going to want the stip 40 grip that's going to give you recoil and gun kick control at seven percent across the board here Obviously, it's nothing too crazy, but all of this adds up at the end of the day, so all of it ends up being important. For my next attachment, I have the 50 round belt mag, and typically you would want to run a lot of bullets with an LMG, but in this particular case, it has an extremely slow aim down sight speed. So that being said, you can see everything that's being gained here. It's handling and mobility. So I'm going to end up hiding my camera so you can see everything that's being gained, but the most important ones obviously are going to be the ADS at 15%, sprint to fire speed at 26%, and of course speeding up overall mobility to make it not so slow paced with this particular attachment it does put it on par with a lot of other lmgs in this game for an under barrel you're going to want the xrk dune grip so this is going to give you aim aiming out of sway recoil control aim walking steadiness and gun kick control so it's going to be nine percent there to all of your recoil categories at the sacrifice of ads and sprint to fire unfortunately this weapon doesn't have as many under barrel choices such as other weapons in the game it is unfortunate but this ends up being the best under barrel if it had access to something like the Bruin heavy support grip it would probably control more of that visual shake on the weapon which would be awesome but this does do a pretty good job as well in the final attachment here is going to be the quartermaster suppressor not much to talk about here it's just simply one of the best muzzles in the entire game it's going to control 10 percent of your gun kick 23 percent of your horizontal recoil control and 10 percent of your vertical recoil control I would say that this is probably the most important attachment simply because you get to stay stealthy. It controls a lot of recoil. And then of course it blocks your muzzle flash because of the suppressor. So by far just the most important here in my opinion. So here's all the attachments on the screen. If you guys wanted to pause to copy this one down, I understand this may be one of those weapons that people don't want to try out, but you may just be interested in seeing how it performs here in modern warfare three. I completely get it. I definitely wanted to give the raw a try though. So here's going to be the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to copy this one down, what I can say is it competes within the game and it does what it's good at. Where you're going to struggle is probably longer distances simply because this weapon has a pretty sporadic recoil pattern. But if you find a way to hit your shots, it kills extremely quickly. You just got to pace yourself properly. You don't want to be running around like it's an assault rifle or SMG. And you want to make sure you have your iron sights up in order to get those kills. So it's definitely worth a try if you guys are playing on a map like rust or possibly another bigger size map and you're just looking to have a change of pace here make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me as always let's get into the gameplay so we have got the raw mg today and after a lot of testing and deliberation and just everything in between i've determined that the normal raw is actually the better better option than the raw conversion kit and it comes down to actually something a lot more simple than many of you even realize it's the Headshot multiplier gets eliminated. So the headshot multiplier actually gets removed when you run the conversion kit, as weird as that may sound. And one of the really big bright sides of the raw is that it has such a high damage profile, you can get three shot kills. So by removing the headshot multiplier you in turn remove the three shot kill potential not bueno in my opinion and so far we're doing a good job of featuring it basically all you can do is try to limit the recoil that's like the big thing the big thing you can do in order to make the raw not usable but more usable is definitely like i was saying eliminating the recoil as much as possible the big downfall i would say actually comes down to 
you can't run any of the underbells. You can only run the side grips that they provide from Modern Warfare 2. So if you were to have like the Bruin heavy support grip to control visual recoil, you might have a better chance actually than in than running the side grips here. Cause like these, this side grip, it doesn't like remove a lot of recoil control, but it removes enough that it's definitely noticeable. Are you gonna go this way? Oh, that was a bad challenge. It was good shots out of them. I gotta play slow. That's one thing I failed to mention is you have to play slow. There's no running around and being aggressive with this thing just does not work. That's why you're seeing me. I don't wanna say I'm camping, but I'm definitely playing more passive than I normally would, like 100%. I definitely don't normally play this passively. Okay, this guy see me? I gotta go this way. He didn't see me, but this guy did. Okay. I'm gonna speed up my pace a bit when I actually attempt to lock down this MGP. I have not been able to do it yet. I got it, bro! Oh my goodness! A lot of pain and suffering went into that one. It has been a long time, and if I choked a 29, brother, I might have gone insane! Now I'm gonna try to play more aggressive to feature what happens when you get into close range engagements, like if you don't have your gun up. But it's gonna, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll just always have my gun up. It's the ADS. That's the the aim down sight is what's really going to cause you some some predicaments. If that guy wasn't one shot, I would 100% lose that. All right, let's go this way. The other team is getting molly whopped by the squad. The good guys. I don't know where I'm throwing that. Oh, I ended up getting a double kill with that nade. Did it blow up through this? Maybe. My team can relax on the objective if they want. I'm not going to tell them what to do, but it'd be, it'd be bueno if they did. This guy is moving. Let's screw it. Let's. Sure. Oh, they're leaving the game. They can't even keep. They can't even take it. They can't take it. Teammates got the heat on them. I mean, they're spawn trapped in this corner right now. This is going much better than I thought it would. I'm going to be honest. I've had a lot of attempts with the raw, and this is the, the best one, and it's not close. Yo, that's what I was looking for. They had their guns up and ready to kill me. He was shooting someone's body is what he was doing. All right, we're pushing that territory. We have to call nuke. One more hill left. I don't know if my team's rotated to it or not. Changing back. Yeah, they are. I don't know if I can call this in in time. Danger close approved. 
I got it. Hey, it said launched. Doesn't matter. That was a really quick game. I'm probably going to jump into a TDM to feature this thing just to get a little more gameplay. I was not originally going to play like a smallish style map, but when I was thinking about it, I want to feature the weapon in as many gunfights as possible. So shoot house obviously isn't a shipment. It's not meat. It's not even DOS house. It's definitely got a bigger size than all of those. So this is kind of a, a perfect scenario. I'm definitely going to die quite a bit. At the same time, I can feature it in plenty of gunfights in order to show it off even further. It's going to look like these guys went up the right side over here oh my god this guy turned around and came back for his revenge little does he know i'm gonna be right there to clap them cheeks again like i said i'm gonna die a lot if i'm gonna be playing at least semi-aggressively i'm probably gonna die i'm not sure i knew this guy was gonna come back for revenge now i gotta expect him nah i don't think i'm gonna be expecting him i think the spawns have now flipped so should be safe sure Oh, we're playing like, we're playing like biatches. Oh, we're playing like biatches. All right, say less. That's not even a guy. Bro, what was that? Oh, it is a guy. Is he laying down? UAV. All right, they're on the other side of the map. I'm going to reload before we take any kind of pushes because this game is quite close. That's not good. There was a guy here. What the hell happened? Bro, what? Okay, that was some magician shit. Oh, teammate got one. Good. You spotted him or you got him? It's so quiet, bro. Why is it so quiet? I think they're all camping, man. At least one is. Teammates locked that down. This is why, you know, I mentioned a little bit ago I don't mind TDM, but I remember why I tend to avoid it. I tend to avoid it simply because of how people play in the game mode. They play so slow and campy because the only objective is to get kills. Teammate should lock that kill in. I'm going to make sure there's no one. He's in the stairwell. Teammate's going to get that one as well. Yeah, teammate got that one as well. Go figure, it takes a thermite sticking me to get to, to get killed. Based on the mini map, they're gonna be one of two places over here or on the other side. Okay, so I'm wrong. They're gonna be in the other corner of the map. Definitely saw a nameplate there. I'm not sure what this goes up to. Probably 100 kills. I didn't get that many kills, but...
All right, only went up to 100. Featured a couple extra gunfights in there. But that is the roll.